The Lloyd X Grounds have held many bull riding events in the past, but this is the first time they're hosting Bull Rider Canada Championships. And for some local riders, like cowboy Cody Coverchuk, this means a little bit of added pressure. One of the major challenges this weekend poses is a new serve receive formation. Last year they were using a serve receive called the 4-2, where the front row setter only had two hitting options. This year they've graduated to a 6-2, where the back row setter moves to the front row, allowing for an extra hitting option. Well today, all of Edmonton woke up to the horrible news that Captain Andrew Ferentz was missing. And the only person brave and courageous enough to save him a six-year-old who was diagnosed with leukemia in 2013, also known as Spider Mabel. Early Greg, the wild one Welsh, has spent a decade in the sport of mixed martial arts, but now makes the switch from the octagon to the boxing ring. Moses Waldo has more on the reason for the change and what lies next for the area fighter. The Lloyd Minster Red Dogs have been minor football royalty in recent years, capturing league titles for the past three seasons while not losing a game since 2012. This afternoon, they took on the 2-0 Parkland Predators, who had plans of snapping the Red Dogs' streak. Opening quarter, Red Dogs get on the board first, though. Tommy Yanchuk airs it out for Garrett Krizanowski, 7 0 for Lloyd Minster. Earlier today, there was a release of the top 10 sports brands in Canada. Yes. And the Eskimos weren't on that list. Right. And I'm just curious, you know, how you reacted to that. You know, uh, there's only 10 that could be on the list, and there's a lot of great franchises out there. 